to what I think is protecting myself. Um, I've learned to try and do that by putting up walls. I've become the kind of person where I can love so much, I can love a person so much, but I, I don't want them to love me back. So I push them away. It kind of has come to a head in the past month or so in my marriage because um, we both have walls from our past and even though we love each other and we want to be so close to each other, it's hard whenever you're dealing with those dynamics. Derek is the sweetest guy in the world, but he is a typical guy and he's not just going to walk around talking about his feelings. But in this conversation, you know, I was pretty broken hearted at the time, he was pretty broken hearted at the time, and he just called me on the whole wall situation, so he told me that he didn't want that for me, and that he knows that I can't just let all of my walls down and trust everybody all at once, but can I just trust him? And I really felt, in thinking about that, like I can't turn my husband down at such a request, but like I also was thinking about the Lord and how, because Derek kept saying, if there's anybody, let it be me, let it be me. And I just know that that was God speaking through him, not just about my relationship with him, but about my relationship with the Lord too. It's kind of difficult to have a real relationship with somebody that you can't see. And yet that's the challenge we face, introducing people to Jesus. They haven't seen him. We can't say to them, I would like to introduce you to my friend Jesus. But we want them to know him. We want them to know the kind of relationship that we have. We want them to experience that same communion that we have with him. And, and as I was thinking about this, I was thinking about the way Jesus was introduced in the Bible when he first showed up on the scene. The angel Gabriel came to Mary and said, you're going to have a baby. It will be the son of God. But the words that the angel said to Mary were, don't be afraid. God is with you. And then months later, when the angels appeared to the shepherds and said, don't be afraid again, the angel said, I'm giving you good news. When I introduce you to Jesus, it's good news for you. It's going to be good news for all people. Anytime we introduce someone to Jesus, it's not because they're bad and they need to get good or because God's mad at them. It's always good news. That's why it's called the gospel. It's good news. In Luke 17, 20, Jesus said, the kingdom doesn't come by your careful observation. You can't seek and find the kingdom. It's not in a certain place. Jesus said, nobody's going to say here it is or there it is. Because he said, the kingdom is found inside you. If you want to introduce somebody to Jesus, let them see him through your life. If you would like for somebody to experience the same peace, love and joy that you've experienced. Let them see it in you. As you live out your relationship with Jesus, other people will see how you live, see how you encounter and live through issues of life just like they do, only with the peace that they are missing. And they'll want to know how to find it. They'll want to find Jesus through the way you live your life. It's not through living up to some religious code or impressing somebody with how good you are. It's not by wearing a mask that says, I'm perfect. But it's by reflecting the very image of Jesus. He who endured all things, yet overcame all things, gives us the strength to do the same thing. So our message to the people around us is, we want you to know Jesus the way we know him. Look at me. If you would like to see Jesus, look at me. Look in my life and see what he's done for me. See how he's changed my life and how he's loved me through problems, how he's loved me out of despair. And you'll find the same peace because he loves you the same way. If you would like to talk with someone about starting a relationship with Jesus, we would love to hear from you. 
You can get in touch with us by clicking contact us on our website at greenvilletransformation.org. We would love to hear from you.